Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. We are going to do project number one uh, in the Nests of Christmas October 2024 Paper Pumpkin Kit. So it's this one here. I've got my trifold card base out. Um, I've got my uh, spruce bow stamp. I've got my Merry Christmas stamp all loaded up. Um, and I've already, uh, I've already attached the one the bird onto the spruce bough for this piece uh, just because I was playing with how this is going to work and so make sure you watch to the end because it's really is a really critical step that we need to uh, make sure we do and so I'm going to ink up my stamp and I've already uh, versa marked this so um, we should be okay that way so I'm just going to pop this down I've just got a piece of scrap paper underneath and I'm just going to add another piece here. And then looks like we've got one going up the other way here. And then we've got a couple on the bottom of the front of the card. Uh, my Stampin' Spot is super, super juicy. Um, so I don't know how everybody else's are going to be, but I went in and I'm just like scrambling. I'm like, wow, there's a lot. So you, again, you just need to kind of touch, touch, touch. You don't need to push down with any effort at all. So we're going to just set this off to the side to give it a little bit of uh, curing time, I guess. And then we're going to bring our greeting in. And we are going to stamp the greeting, which I have already versa marked. And again, Versamark just helps the ink adhere to the stamp a little bit better. And it also helps stop the st uh, it from staining the stamp, the ink from staining the stamp. So I'm just going to pop this down. There we go. We've got our Merry Christmas going on. And I'm just going to pull this out of the way and move this out of the way. Okay, so let's bring our project back in. We need to fold this front over. And I'm just, oh yeah, I'm, I'm inky all over the place here. So I'm just going to make sure that this is kind of flat there even. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to bring in my block and just use it to kind of flatten that edge down. Okay. So we need to build our greeting. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our tear and tape. We're going to put a piece of tear and tape on the back of the piece of ribbon just like that. It can be a bit longer if you'd like it to be. So we're just gonna pop that onto the back of the ribbon in the middle, like that, close enough. Let's put the link back, lid back on the ink spot. I'm already like totally covered in green ink, so we'll put our dimensionals on. here and here and this goes on the inside edge so it attaches to the middle or the blue section it doesn't attach to the frame so we're just going to pop this down here like this there we go now this piece it's really critical when we're doing this where we put our dimensionals because if we put our dimensionals too far in it's going to stick and we're not going to be able to open the card so what i'm actually going to do is it tells us to put the dimensionals like here and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually put the dimensionals on the frame i know that this one needs to go about here so i'm going to pop a dimensional down there and then with that, if this is here like this, this dimensional needs to go right about here. So I'm just gonna peel the backings off of those. And you can tell I already had dimensionals on here and it, it stuck the card down. So I'm just gonna pop this down here like this, that like that, and there's our card and we can still open it up. So this one gives you lots of nice space to write in. And there we go. That's our first project for the October 2024 Paper Pumpkin Kit called uh, Nests of Christmas. So stay tuned for project number two. <laughs> 